the light workshops were designed as a way of doing research about the space outside the watershed. We're looking into um, creating an interactive installation there and wanted to consult people in a playful way what they thought about the space um, in order for us to develop an interactive installation at the space. You will be in front of the camera outside drawing and your movement will be traced in the camera. Light drawing um, is nothing new. It's a technique that's existed for a long time. There's a famous image of, of Picasso doing a light drawing. A light drawing happens in the camera. It's a long exposure. It's light moving in front of the camera and the light is traced. As an artist, I'm interested in having methods which are playful or creating spaces where play can happen. And to have a space outside a watershed and give people the permission to run outside, to play outside with lights, is one of the things that I'm interested in as an artist, that the um, creation of spaces for play and possibilities. Whoa! It's been a great opportunity to find out about how light drawing works um, and to properly explore the space and how the space is used. And a lot of things I hadn't realised, you know, how, how many people come past and it's not until you trying to do some drawing that you realise the, the sheer amount of people who walk up and down this space. We were out there for about 45 minutes and 45 minutes sounds like a long time but people really got into it, they had a good time, they didn't want to get back in. The people in the workshops did light drawings which told us about their memories, their experience of the space. We've been sort of thinking about how we experience this sort of space which is uh, dates. Uh, and Waiting for people a lot uh, for the cinema. Yeah, um, and, uh, and how we see other people um, use space, so we've dressed me in hen party paraphernalia. It all cycles down here a lot apparently, so we're going to use the bike in the photo. Oh, I really like locking my bike to the um, railings there, because you've got the water on one side and you've got the watershed on the other, so it's quite, a nice, it's quite a nice space really. The themes that I would say that I saw um, through the workshops would be socialising, a lot of socialising down there, um, and a, a little bit of violence. A lot of us have been down here on a weekend night, late at night, and there's you know usually a lot of uh, violence and drunkenness going on. We've had a lot of like, people wanting to draw people, either something violent happened or they're being sick. Or... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so it seems that... Maybe the watershed is the good part you about down like here, but just, it's not very inviting it. apart from that at the tea. moment. I was inspired by um, the movies because I always come down here for the for the films at the watershed. So I wanted to create an iconic scene from the movies. They wanted to see something more um, sort of light there, to be honest. I was doing like um, <laughs> icing on them as well. Um, at the moment, we're drawing impressions of three of the Elvises that walked by earlier. They look like they're on some kind of stag do. <laughs> it's quite tricky to make the images. Um, where you are, you're but right yeah, we're, 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 we're learning as we're going along. Oh uh, yeah, we've done the cocktail, we've done... We, yeah. done. <laughs> we, 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 did, we did like a seaside. It was really interesting to see how the group dynamics worked and how it really was good interaction between us. Because they get so interested in what they're doing um, that they just sort of uh, get along and they don't worry about sort of what's going on around them and they don't, they're not very self-conscious because they're so interested in trying to create. They, they quickly realise that they get a better picture the more they work as a team. Light drawing has been a really good way for people to get really engaged in showing it, like quite a creative way of showing how people right. actually think about the space without really thinking about it too much. <laughs> what next then guys? Light drawings as a method gives you the possibility to think through movement and light and visual thinking rather than say a questionnaire, a user study, a direct interview. Um, so it enables a different form of thinking, a different way of relating to a space. This is just amazing fun, absolutely fantastic. We're enjoying all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful stuff. Getting creative. Yeah, yeah, it's just fantastic and you know trying to find useful ways uh, to use the space. So next we're going to go out and look for support for people who think that it could be great to create an interactive installation in the space, who have heard this feedback about the space and the kind of desire for a friendlier space, to transform the space, to have an interactive space where people can play, feel safe, feel comfortable. Having something that would stop and people you know, would be able to interact and participate in some way in that space and yeah, make it a more interactive space, make it somewhere where people do pause and don't just walk up and down would be a great, great thing to do.